And hey, yeah, Tembo, right? We know someone that works there. Yeah, Darren Baldwin, super cool dude. Just actually check it out. Yeah, go ahead and scan it if you guys want the link. Uh, but yeah, so Tembo. The thing that I find really cool about Tembo is it's not like it's its own, like, database. It's just, it's Postgres. But it's also about, like, plugging and playing Postgres-like extensions, right? Because Postgres has a really good extension uh, library, right? It's so, like Timescale DB. That's a Postgres extension. I'm actually curious what, like, uh, what other extensions they support directly. Right? They have, like, stacks that are these, like, put together. So they got the standard one. It's a replacement maybe for RDS. That's just basically Postgres. But there's also, like, a message queue stack. Okay, interesting, Renegade. Yeah, OLTP. Um, I don't know what OLTP is. No, no, Tembo is like a service for you to spin up Postgres instances that are like these stacks, right? So Postgres can actually be adapted for all sorts of stuff, right? And that is what the extensions are then used for. So for time series stuff, right? Timescale DB, right? Yeah, like their time series stack is using an existing PG time series thing. Right? And it's also, I guess, using Partman, which is for partitioning. So really, there's like all these extensions you can add to Postgres to make it do things like, you know, your own self-hosted timescale DB. But they have these all like split out into their own like specific stacks for your use case. You could probably create a custom one too. Um, I'm not sure what that is like. And yeah, adding new stacks, right? So they're blueprints for deploying Postgres with extensions, tools, and configuration. Okay. And yeah, music's a bit loud, sorry. We had it turned up from the other music. So yeah, all stacks are defined in YAML. You can see the stack spec files. I'm actually curious what one of those looks like. But yeah, if you want to build your own stack, right? You know, a custom mixing of other extensions, you can do that too. So that's kind of nifty. So yeah, basically spinning up your own uh, OLAP, which I forget what that stands for, or your own data warehouse, like a replacement for Snowflake or BigQuery. Right? You can do geospatial stuff, right? That's going to be using uh, PostGIS, yep. But, oh, there's a lot more in there that I wasn't even aware of. So, yeah, like, the stacks are cool because they're, like, theoretically, like, a battle-tested wrapper around doing, like, you know, GIS stuff with it. I've done Postgres with, uh, how do you pronounce it? Like, PostGIS? I don't know the right way to say that. But, yes, I've installed this before. I didn't install all this other stuff before. Now, it worked for my case, but it was just, it was a very light case. So I assume that there's a bunch of stuff I was not doing properly. But yeah, even like fuzzy string matching. And yeah, I guess, hold on, PGT. I think this is a thing that Tembo operates as well, right? Uh... Yeah, yeah, so Trunk is cool, right? If you want to do, like, a lookup of various Postgres extensions, right? So let's just say, I don't know, let's find one for time series. You know, PG time series, bam. Let's zoom out a bit. See, so yeah, I think this is actually one of the coolest things uh, they've done, just creating this, like, directory of Postgres extensions. Like, anyone can use this, whether you're Tembo or some competitor. I think it's like a really cool thing they've done to like contribute back to the ecosystem, which is cool. And yeah, here's all of their existing stacks. Like if you wanna do a machine learning one,
Yeah, nifty. But yeah, basically they have their own like cloud environment too. I'll sign up for it, why not? That I don't know, we should go look. Um, I'm a developer engineer, why did I sign up? I just want to have a look around. What are we using it for? Let's just say transactional. Where did we hear about it? Other. Algora. No, I was actually familiar with it uh, from Darren Baldwin, who works there as well. So yeah, create instance. They'll probably show us the pricing here. Let's say we want to create a time series database. Deploy free. Hobby tier, we could upgrade. Yeah, so let's go look at what the pricing actually is. And actually, hold on, how do I kill it? I don't want to like, I don't want to waste their resources. All right, we'll let that one go. We'll just look at Tembo separately. And yeah, my poor Mac Mini. <laughs> my poor little Mac Mini. Yeah, let's look at the pricing. Ten stacks to choose from. You get a 0.25 CPU, one gig of memory, 10 gigs of storage database. And maybe that's split among others? It's probably just for a single, single node. If you wanted to run it yourself with a 0.5 one gig uh, instance, that's 30 a month. Okay. Definitely scales up. Your database probably doesn't need too much more than that. If you were to spin it up hourly, right? Like you need it for just like a temporary workload. Okay. You can pick compute versus general purpose versus optimized. and memory optimized. Yeah, that's probably what I'd end up going for. For like, you know, something I'm doing. So. Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. Like, I don't see anything for like read, write. Yeah, I'm curious about that too, Renegade. Oh, it said it above and I missed it. Hold on. In this one here? Oh, on the freeze here. Unlimited. Jeez. I was looking for a number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was totally looking for a number. I wasn't expecting unlimited. Interesting. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. So for that cost, 20 bucks a month for a managed database? That's not terrible. You know, 35, not as good. 30, not quite as good as the 20. But still, like... Hmm. Now, this is interesting to me, too. Like, if you notice, like, during certain times of the day that you want to scale it up and down, 
that might be totally doable too, right? So instead of doing monthly, you would go hourly. And I would assume that the four cents equates out to the, if you were running it at, at that for the full month, right? But instead you could then maybe scale it up for your busiest times of the day. Or if you anticipate like a, like a bump from a holiday thing or something, some marketing campaign, etc. Oh, this is cool. And yeah, start for free, no credit card required. So yeah, I don't know. Next uh, project I work on that ends up needing a Postgres database. I might check out Tembo. All right, just to try it. I will point out, like, uh, just looking at this as part of, like, the, the sponsored content that, like, the, the banners that show at the bottom are for. So, you know, keep in mind, I am biased. Your current project is using Postgres in a Docker container. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that's what uh, Stream Parrot below is doing. It's hosted on an EC2 with the database just embedded within the, the same EC2. It's all contained within a single Docker container. Or actually, no, I think it's Docker Composed. So it's multiple containers. No, I'm not doing any of that stuff. It's just a straight up EC2. And keep in mind, like most of the logic, etc., is actually happening just client side in the, the browser source there. But Stream Parrot is like massively configurable. So I do have like a database for storing like the configuration, like the theme you might choose, things like that. Um, like which emotes get, oh, hold on. Let me just do it in Firefox. So yeah, like basically there are emotes that you can configure, which you can get a good look at yourself to see the full list by going to emotes. But I can also change stuff about the overlay. And the browser source is doing like a poll to this database. So I can actually change the theme from hacker to golden age comics, which I quite like. And you even get like a good like, you know, preview of it, etc. I don't know. I, I really had fun building this out. And yeah, it can take up to 30 seconds. It's actually it can take up to 59 seconds, but we just tell people 30. No one's actually counting it out. So then bam, it popped over. Tembo's PGMQ. Yeah, so I don't think, like maybe they made the extension. I don't know about that. My guess is they're just like, their stacks are combining other people's extensions for Postgres, but in a nice, clean, easily deployed, manageable way. So you're not having to like install those extensions yourself. I think that's the big part that Tembo is doing. You find this theme easier to read? Yeah. And we could leave it if we want. Uh, you made some leaps in progress on your project over the past couple months. You got an agent running and you're able to deploy it, uh, deploy to it. Your coworkers said you need to make it into a startup. Yeah, keep working on that startup. 
Here's a big thing though, Zig user, make sure that you're not doing any of this on company hardware or company time, theoretically. If you did any of the work on your side project on a company machine, they could have grounds to claim ownership. Yeah, it's a huge bummer, actually. Oh, PGMQ is actually their own extension. Oh, nifty, Bob. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, not only are they like maintaining the stacks, they're also like contributing back towards the ecosystem. That's really cool. So now it kind of makes sense why they got 14 mil in funding. Yeah, PGMQ, PG Later. Yeah, let's go look at their repos. Yeah, I really think Trunk is awesome. But yeah, PG Vectorize, PGMQ, PG JSON Schema Boon, PG Later. Auto DW, PG Tier. So like, yeah, they've done a lot of contribution as well. That's nifty. I really like that. So Tembo is basically a hosted Postgres platform. But what separates them from something like Neon or some of the others, or Superbase or any of that, is the fact that they have the idea of stacks. So if we go look at Docs again, and I assume you just got here, Hat Knight. Right? Stacks are basically a collection of extensions for Postgres that they make like one click deployable. So if you wanted to set up a message queue yourself, right, with PGMQ, PG Partman, and PG Stat Statements, which I guess isn't linked anywhere, um, right? Bam! They're like having this in a single click deploy for a hosted Postgres database. So yeah, Postgres is powerful in that. You can do a lot with it, with extensions, but then you'd have to like set those up yourself. Too. So yeah, it seems really cool. And yeah, keep in mind, this is sponsored content looking at it at least. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say something I don't actually believe, though. I do think it seems really cool. Yeah, exactly, Hat Knight. I would say, like, it's probably worth going through the process of trying to set up your own, like, extensions and adding them in, right? Dealing with that process just to, like, know what it's like. And then if you do end up trying Tembo, seeing how much easier it maybe makes it, I don't know. I've only ever done, like, the post-GIS extension. And that was just a single extension. And I don't think I actually deployed that project. 